Hey guys and welcome back for another video. Today we will be looking at the top 10 best guns for Call of Duty Mobile. This will include the best of the best based on stats, personal preferences, usability, and overall versatility. So buckle up buttercups and let's start the video. Coming up at the number 10 spot we have the RPD. This is the best LMG in the game with very manageable recoil. The damage and its range is insane with also a good time to kill but sadly this is the type of gun that feels like you're carrying a freaking truck. Just sit back, spray and pray then you'll be good to go. For the number 9 spot we have the most annoying gun last season, and it is none other than the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh recently got a nerf and it was the stability of the gun and now you cannot one burst someone in the legs from 0 to 10 meters. And because of its recent nerf, the Pharaoh should be on the number 9 spot. It's still a great gun and you can still one burst someone but only in the stomach up until the head. And its overall versatility is not that great. Still a great gun but not that great anymore. For the number 8 spot we have the Rus 79U. The Rus has a good recoil even without a grip, and it is one of the most versatile SMGs that can cope up with the current assault rifle meter that we have in the game right now. Its range is insane for an SMG with an amazing time to kill, but sadly there are guns and other SMGs that can outclass the Rus. For the number 7 spot we have the OG bad boy, the AK-117. This gun has been the most consistent throughout the entire course of the game. It doesn't really get the love it deserves anymore because of all the new guns. But this gun can still shred people at mid to longer ranges especially with its easy to manage recoil. And you might want to use its iron sight for faster adds time since it doesn't do good at shorter ranges. For the number 6 spot we have the QQ9 or also known as the MP5. This gun is insane. If you exclude the Pharaoh, it can kill faster than almost every gun from 0 to 7 meters. It has bad hip fire performance but the fast scope and speed is insane and can cover up the hip fire. The range is great and the damage of this gun is great as well. It does reload very slow though and you can easily run out of bullets but just pick between the fast mag and the extended mag depending on your play style and then you're good to go. But one more thing, its recoil is somewhat hard to manage though so you'll need to practice your recoil control to get the hang of it. Coming up at the number 5 spot we have the BK57. The reason why this gun is only at the number 5 spot is because of its bad recoil. I mean it's not that bad but it's not that good either. Having an inconsistent recoil can mess up with your muscle memory when learning a gun. And the BK has a really slow scope in time which makes it harder to react especially in close range battles but other than that, the gun's range and damage is insane. It can kill really fast in all ranges with its damage and fire rate. But due to its slow scope in time and inconsistent recoil, it can be outclassed by the guns that will be mentioned later. For the number 4 spot we have the DLQ-33 and the Arctic-50. Both are pretty much the same and should be treated equally. The Arctic-50 is the easy version of DLQ because of its fast scope in time and its ridiculous fire rate. But the DLQ has better hitbox markers because it can one shot from the waist up until the head, while the Arctic can only one shot from the stomach area up until the head. Both are really good guns and when in the right hands, you can delete someone with just one tap. For the number 3 spot we have the Cordite. This gun is cracked, it's broken. It has the best hip fire performance in the game but with a slow scope in time. The recoil is mostly vertical and can be managed. The range and damage of the gun is insane. 
It has a great time to kill in all ranges and it can shred people in all ranges. So far, this is the best SMG in the game but not the best gun. For the number 2 spot we have the most hyped up gun and it is none other than the HBRI-3. This spot is controversial and could be the best gun in the game for some people, but this list is based mostly on stats, versatility, and partially on personal preferences. Not gonna lie this gun is really 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 good. Its recoil is very manageable and you basically don't need a grip for it. The gun can kill really fast in close ranges. It is good for mid-range battles but falls off in longer ranges. But with its easy to manage recoil, you can still laser people at longer ranges. This gun is really versatile but the number one spot is or are much more versatile than the HBR. Before we unveil our number one spot here's an honorable mention. The Man o War. This gun recently got a stability buff, which means its recoil is much more manageable than it was last season. Last season it kicks like an elephant but now it kicks like a baby elephant. From 0 to 18 meters, this gun can kill people in just 3 shots. It is still good at 18 meters and above but can be outclassed by other guns. If in the right hands, this gun can kill people with ease. This gun definitely deserves to get an honorable mention. And finally, the number one spot goes to the KN44 and the LK24. Most of you might be shocked but hear me out. These guns are the kings of versatility. They are basically identical but with some small differences. They both have the same time to kill in all ranges and both have the same damage in all ranges. These guns kill faster than the HBR from 25 meters and above. It can even kill faster at close ranges because both guns have much faster scope in time than the HBR. With its fast scope in time, you can both be aggressive and also laser people in all ranges. Both have good recoil depending on your taste. The KN has less vertical recoil but has slight horizontal recoil, while the LK has less horizontal recoil but more on vertical recoil. For me and for some people, based on stats and based on its overall versatility and usability, the LK24 and the KN44 are the best guns in the game.